I got started into spray tanning back in about 2005, 2006. Uh, my fiance was looking for an alternate way to, uh, to get a little bit of color. And uh, we had found a company called California Tan back then. Um, we were using their solution. Um, I ordered some in. I had used to paint cars and things like that, so I had some spray guns. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we just started spraying it, and she ended up loving it. Her friends started liking it, and it just kind of started to spread from there. One of my favorite parts about doing spray tanning is the results, the results that people get and making people happy. I mean, we have people from models to pregnant women, especially uh, teens that come in for prom, uh, pretty much all different types of people that we do, people that are going on vacation. And it's really just a great way to get color fast. So it's great for a special occasion. Some people come in just to get their legs and stuff done. It's, uh, but definitely my favorite part is just seeing a look on their face when they're happy, uh, especially pregnant women. They light right up because they can't dye their hair. They can't do a lot of things with their skin. They can't go tanning, obviously. They can't be in the sun. So to get that instant result and instant gratification and to just see the look on their faces, they just, they, they light up. You know, they, they glow when, when, uh, when they leave our shop, which that really means a lot to me that uh, I can make someone happy uh, doing what I enjoy doing. There really is no secret to spray tanning. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, do you have a certain product? Do you have something that you like? Do you have this? Do you have that? Uh, you know, the, the key really is knowledge is, you know, you have to do a lot of them. You have to do them often and uh, you're just trying different things. You know, it took me a long time to get to the point where, you know, somebody would come in and we just knew exactly what color they needed to be. We knew how to set the gun. Um, you know, we didn't buy a cheap gun off of eBay. We bought, you know, professional equipment. Uh, we use a great solution now called Norvell. Uh, it's a, a mixture, it's a Venetian Plus uh, custom solution, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it looks great on the skin. And uh, so as far as a secret, no, there really is no secret. I mean, what I would tell somebody that's just starting out is just get yourself educated. You know, definitely read up on it, take the classes. I mean, I have over, I think I have six, six certifications now. It's a lot of people have, I've heard them say that it's just a piece of paper, but, and it, it, it is, but it's really the knowledge that we've gained by doing this stuff and, and by just keep doing it. I mean, we do at least a couple thousand tans a year or more. And, um, you know, after spraying that many people, it's just, you just learn. So, I mean, you have to have the knowledge, you have to have the right equipment, you have to find a great solution. And really it's just a matter of you know, just learning and doing it. Our clients could range anything from, you know, a, a mom who's just, uh, you know, just wants to get a little bit of color to somebody who's going on vacation to a model, to uh, some musicians we've done, uh, actors, uh, wrestlers, uh, you know, pr pretty much all, all walks of life. And not just women. And there's a lot of men that do it too. I mean, there's a lot of bodybuilders and, and things as well that, uh, you know, that come in and, and want to get sprayed because they just, they, they want that instant color. One of my best memories, I would say, of doing a spray tan was I uh, had a young girl who was about 15 years old, maybe. Uh, I think she was about 15. And she had come into the salon. She had a problem called vitiligo, which is a condition where the skin does not take color. Um, out in the sun actually makes it worse because it can become even more white. Uh, kids were picking on her at school. She'd been picked on her whole life for this. And I started to spray her and she started to see that you know, we could actually somewhat, you know, there's no cure for this, but we could actually cover it, um, you know, without using makeup and stuff like that. It's a much, much more long lasting uh, solution. And it's, uh, you know, to see the look on her face and I'll never forget it. She almost was in tears. The fact that she had been picked on her whole life for this and we actually had something that could help her. Uh, so she left just so happy and just so excited. Her mom was happy and you know, it's, uh, nobody wants to get picked on for stuff like that. So it's, you know, it was just amazing that uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to, to help her. The main difference between uh, spray tan, quote unquote, spray tan and a custom airbrush tan is the human aspect. Um, you know, a lot of clients come to us because they like the fact that we talk to them. We ask them about their kids. We ask them about their vacation. We ask them about their job. Uh, almost similar to a hairdresser, uh, uh, you know, and, and sometimes a psychologist. <laughs> but we, uh, you know, we really, we care about our customers and we want them to look good because it's a direct reflection on us if you look bad. Uh, people are going to say, because they're going to notice a difference and people are going to say to you, 
where did you get that tan? And you're going to say youthful trends. And, you know, if it's something that looks horrible, it looks really bad on me and I'm not going to get any business from it. Um, you know, people always ask, am I going to be orange? No, you're not going to be orange. If you were going to be orange, we couldn't do it, have been doing it for 11 plus years. Um, I'm sure we wouldn't be in business anymore. My advice to spray tanners would be, well, pretty much anybody would be, uh, take care of your skin. You know, uh, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. The more hydrated your skin is, the better it's going to take a spray tan. The longer your spray tan is going to last, the better it's going to look. The, the way it fades is going to be different. Um, we sell a lot of natural products. We work a lot with our estheticians that we have in-house. And, uh, you know, you definitely want to take care of your skin because it's, you know, it's what people see first. And we care about how you look because when you leave my salon, you're representing me. So people are going to ask you, you know, oh, where did you get that tan? You're going to say youthful trends. If it doesn't look good, it's going to come back negatively on me. So I would just say take care of your skin. Hydrate, uh, you know, drink lots of water. Um, you can speak with our estheticians too. They'll tell you a lot of different things. Try to stay more towards the natural skincare products. Um, you know, stay away from, in particular, Dove soap. Uh, I hate to mention names, but, you know, we have to tell people to stay away from Dove, Irish Spring, things, things that are a little more harsh on your skin. And they can also leave a film on your skin um, so that uh, the spray tan doesn't take quite right. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say hydration is probably one of the most important things you can do.